Everyone loves Sea Toms. They're a Canadian company. They have a close working relationship with the military. And finally, they make some great quality products. Today, we're gonna offer a saucy dish to our Sea Toms fanboys as we break open their second line pack. This is a good looking bag designed for the medic in mind. But as you will see, this bag can really be used by anyone to do any job. There is surprisingly not a lot of information or material out on this bag. And so to respect everyone's time, we're gonna keep this review short and sweet. Sea Toms chose three key words to describe this great looking pack. Versatility, customization, and modularity. It will quickly become very apparent why. To start, this low profile bag is made with high quality construction materials. You'll find durable Cordura fabric with solid zippers and Velcro inside and out. These touches ensure that you will still be giving this bag a run for its money years after your purchase. Its design is meant to be slim, and it really looks good on any fashionable medic with money to burn. The front and sides are covered in molly, so you can attach anything anywhere. You also have this large area Velcro on the front where you can easily display how cool you are to own this bag. The side compression straps will work overtime, doing the heavy lifting when you eventually overpack this little monster far past its form-fitted design. With or without body armor, the consensus here is that the shoulder straps are decently comfortable. That's considering how basic they come across. Additional points are awarded for those quick release straps. The features of this bag are really quite simple, and I found that when it was completed, it was ready for use in record time. You'll be able to quickly remove it from your back in anticipation of explosively setting up shop. Last thing for the outside is a front zippered sleeve you might see depending on what version you pick up. In theory, it seemed like a good place to hold some admin, but working with a full bag, it quickly becomes apparent that it's too tight of a squeeze to place or remove anything practical from that location. Now when you first pick up this bag, you might find its initial impression is really its only impression. There isn't much to it. After opening your new second line main pack, you have a large empty space staring back at you. And I mean there's nothing in there. No side pouches, no mesh area for admin, nothing. This large capacity area will demand you fill it with other C Tom's products before it will become useful. This of course at an additional price. In other words, you're gonna be there, okay? That's why my own three choice words to describe this bag are going to be functionality sold separately. The bag's intended pockets are readily sold by C Toms for over $40 a piece. They are the same high quality and come with almost every one of those fancy touches you look for. Reflective labels, plastic windows, and both Velcro and mesh adorn these well-made accessories. Now, depending on your style, you can Velcro just a few of these in place to allow for more bigger ticket items or pack the thing with up to eight various pouches and then compress it all down every time you zip it closed. This design, accompanied by these marketing choices, is ultimately the biggest selling feature, while in my opinion, also the largest downfall of this bag. Versatility, customization, and modularity are great. What's less awesome is asking your customers to immediately buy hundreds of dollars of additional kit before your bag stops sounding like a maraca. Okay, okay, holster your meat paws. My heart's not made of stone and I will freely admit that the opening of your first well-organized second line pack is a great experience. And one that you will remember every time you see someone struggle with that other bag that quickly devolves into a kit bomb. When the pockets and pouches are installed in this thing, it will handle like a dream. Everything will be right in front of you, clearly organized with identifiers that make instant recognition a breeze. Clear viewing windows can then further remove any doubt that you're digging in the right place. No area is blocked or hidden and what you see is what you get. A completed second line is the fabled bag that you can hand to anyone with those mystical and vague instructions on where to locate a particular item and then have that item make it to your hands in quick order. The second line main pack is priced around 380 Canadian. That price will seem more appealing if you were already stocked with your own internal organizers. If not, be ready with a plan to ensure this bag will go to work fighting for you and not the other way around. Experienced medics will see this bag as exactly what it is, an empty shell ready to be molded from the ground up into a medical response solution for any situation. There will be no fat left on this bag after it's stocked for a couple priority patients. And so if you were working dismounted or far from home, C Toms offers you the second line assault pack module. This is a slightly thinner version that can be attached to the main bag and then removed to stand on its own when necessary. Everything else is virtually identical. Now, if you're gonna go mesh heavy on the pouches inside the bag, I would also recommend you buy a rain cover. 
Despite everything extra that's needed to get this bag up and running at 100%, this piece of kit holds the approval of medics everywhere. They pledge ownership of their heart after they finally see it completed and in action. I think it's also carved out a nice niche among die-hard brand enthusiasts who prefer an ultra-minimalistic approach and aren't afraid of the additional costs. Everyone loves Sea Toms, but nobody loves their prices. For the new medic, I would recommend you look at several other packs first, such as the Mystery Ranch Rats Med Pack we have previously featured. This is equally as popular in the medical community and as a competitive price point when you consider it's pretty killer right out of the box. Bottom line is that the second line pack is great at what it does. Unfortunately, at first, this bag won't do very much. It's essentially a tactical backpack that waits for your infusion of creativity and your credit card. Take a look at our other bag reviews for some alternative options, and check out our main channel for some reviews of other fancy gear that only the government can afford. Here's a few now. Okay, not weapon comes up to the point, downward, and exposes the head. There's your power slap on number one.